Dear fellow coders, welcome to One Little Coder. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create a bar chart race. Bar chart race was something that was trending on social media for quite some time. And this particular video is going to be about a package, a library that has been open sourced by the very famous India in Pixels channel. So India in Pixels channel, as you can see, this channel has got a lot of bar chart race and the developer was very kind enough to open source the code or the library, the code base that he used to use to create these bar chart races. So let's quickly show you like how does it look. So if you see this bar chart race, let me mute the video. If you see this thing, this is how you would see it. Like it's going to it's going to change continuously. And then, you know, this, this is something that you might have already seen and you don't need any introduction. So what I'm going to show you is how to take the library or the code base that the developer has open source. This is there, India and Pixels bar chart racing and how to take this library and then create your own bar chart race for your own data set. So that's what I'm going to show you in this video. If this something interests you, please subscribe to the channel, give a thumbs up and then let's get started. First of all, a huge shout out and thanks to the developer Ashres Chaudhary. So for making this amazing library and making this amazing open source project. Now we can we can use this code base very simply and easily. We can create our own bar chart raising. So what are we going to do? The first step that we are going to do is we are going to clone this repository. And if you are like me, if you have enjoyed this library, please make sure that you start this repository. So let me copy the URL of this thing. Let me copy this. This is much better. And I'm going to open my terminal here. I'm going to say simply git clone and then the repository name. So this is for us to copy the repository into your own space. Imagine you don't have GitHub. If you do not have Git, like let's say you are not a very good programmer. Um, so you, you, you don't want to do the programmer stuff. If, if, if you are that kind of type, then you can avoid this Git step by just simply going here and download the zip file. So you can simply download the zip file and then unzip it and keep it the same. I'm just doing the same thing in a different way using git. So what I'm going to do now is git clone which is going to almost do the same thing which is to download the repository and unzip it. You can do it either way. After this is done, we're going to have a folder inside our computer wherever you're cloning this called bar chart raising. So that's that's what we have to go and look at it. So meanwhile, I'll quickly show you the code. So if you see this code, the data the JSON is the place where we have to edit. So data or JSON is the place where we have to edit our data. Everything else is fine. We can just simply use it. And then here and there we have to make aesthetic changes. So at this point, the repository has been downloaded. Bar chart raising has been downloaded. So I'm going to enter into bar chart raising, bar chart raising. And then you can see at this point, I've entered bar chart raising. So if I do LS, you would see all the, all the files that are available in this repository. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to open this folder within my VS code for me to make changes. So code dot helps me open this particular repository, the folder within VS code. So now at this point, I've got my VS code. I've got the files as well. So let me open the data.json file. So you can see this is where the data is available as a JSON. So and this is what we have to go and edit. OK, so that's the first thing. Remember, data.json is what we have to edit. After that, you have to go and see main.js if you want to make some changes. Like there are certain JavaScript files that, that are available for you to make some changes. But let us say like if you want to make some change, like uh, the text that is available there, we are going to make some change. Like all those things, I'm going to show you how to make those changes. For now, to start with, let us understand if our repository is set and up and running. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to install an extension. I'm going to install an extension that will help me check the server, lo the local server. So I'm going to install an extension. Uh, I think I've already installed the extension. So the extension name is called live server. So install this extension live server. So after you install this extension on your VS code, all you have to do is you have to go here and search for live server. After you install live server, which means the extension is installed successfully, then you have to go to the code base open open any of these files like let's say in our case i'm going to open um, i'm going to open let's say main.js okay after i have main.js in place i'm going to go here at the bottom and i'm going to say go live i think you can see this when you when you actually see this video there is a go live button at the bottom toolbar i'm going to click go live after i click go live a new web tab is going to open for me i'm going to open this here I'll come back here and then i'll go new tab and then open this and at this point, you can see it says plus press enter to start and to support UPA and India and pixels. As you can see from this code base, sorry, as you can see from the code base, 
you can see the same statement here press enter to start to support upi so on details the upi detail and the patreon detail this is to donate the developer if you enjoy this enjoy this code base so i'm not going to make any changes to that but the thing is after you reach this screen now i'm going to click enter you can see at this point after i click enter you can see that how the bar chart is changing so you have certain components here let me break down these components individually by um, for individual components for you so first of all you have a logo here so this logo comes from this file subscribex.png so this is this is what is powering that logo so if you want your own brand logo you can replace that with any logo that you want so that is the first thing the next thing is you have the title in here so you have the title in here that says top 20 indian airports by total passengers so that is the next component and the next component that you see here is the year the time period in which the bar chart raising has happened that has been highlighted here and finally what is the source and who has created it so let me quickly go here and show you where those things are so i'm going to to help you find it out i'm going to say find in the files i'm going to say create it okay so it says as you can see it is available in the config.json file config.json file is where you're going to edit the title of the title of the video for example instead of saying tw top 20 indian airports right now you're seeing let's say i'm going to say top 20 airports indian airports by passengers i'm just going to edit it just for you to see how is it okay and after i save this thing i can go back so you can see that it has already stopped i can you know press enter after I press enter, you can see the total passengers has been changed to passengers. So which means the code that we change edits. So for example, let's say instead of saying created by whatever the developer's name is, because I'm editing this video, I'm going to say created by one little coder. Okay, created by one little coder, save it and then come back it and see, press enter, you can see created by one little coder. So this is how we are going to edit every individual component, but we're going to do it for a totally different data set. So at this point, the files that we have seen is, let me quickly show you the files. We have seen data.json where we have to change the data file for us to, you know, power the bar chart race. Then we have edited config.json. Config.json is where we are going to make some changes like what is the title of the bar chart race? What is the description, the description that we are chose, showing and from where the data source should be picked up? What is the number of speed? Like if you want the speed to increase, like you can show that. I'll, I'll quickly show you how to increase the speed as well. So these are certain important informations that you can change in config.js. Config and then the other file that we were just talking about is if you want to change, make change to the main screen, the splash screen that you get, press enter to start. Then you have to go to main.js and then you can make changes there. So you can change this text if you want. You can change this text you want, like whatever change you want to do, you can change that. So at this point, we have a little grasp of the code base. And if you want to make advanced changes, then timeline.js is where you're going to make advanced changes. And the developer is highly open for you to make some contributions and make some pull request if you can optimize this refactor this code base you are welcome to do it and make a pull request and that will help the community altogether so at this point we are clear about the code base config.json is where we are going to edit all the metadata like for example title and description and um, and data.json is where we are going to make the changes where the actual data is going to reside the subscribex png is where you're going to put your logo and cover.jpg is like this is this is a this is this is a jpeg image that's been used in the repository so we don't need so at this point we have got all these in place so let's get started with a new data set so what is a new data set so that's that's where this entire part gets tricky so the new data set that you are going to use should be in a particular json format like look at look at this json format so the data of json as you can see you can see that there is a year there's a time period for which you want to go in, you are going to make the race bar chart race so that is there and inside that and you're going to see all these individual values so if you see like a dictionary so this is going to be like your key and the values are here and this is something that you need to keep in mind when you're going to look for a new data set if this data set is not in this format you are not going to get the bar chart race as simple as easy as easy as as it might see so the first step is whatever data set you get you have to make sure that you have to convert it in this format but let's say that now looking at this json you wouldn't actually know how this data set is ideally supposed to look so to help you understand i'm going to show you a sample data set 
So this is a sample data set I'm going to use. It's from another open source library that helps you to build bar chart arrays using matplotlib, Python matplotlib. I've got a separate video for that. I'll link that video in the YouTube description. So this data is what we're going to copy and then we're going to convert into JSON. And then the meanwhile process, I'm going to show you how this JSON or the data set looks like. Okay, so let me copy everything. Okay, copy. How do I copy everything? Okay, select Control A, Control C, or Command C, whatever tool you use. And I'm going to use a tool to convert my CSV. Right now, we have copied a CSV, which is a comma separated file into a JSON. And I'm going to use convertcsv.com for this. So I'm going to paste the CSV here. Okay, at this point, I have the CSV here. I don't want the title, so I'm going to remove this year, the first title for the year. And then I'm going to select a couple of things like do I have to skip any line? Uh, the first row is the column name. Yes, first row is the column name. Then after this point, I'm going to make sure my data is in a particular format. So how am I going to make sure? I'm going to click convert to JSON. But instead of saying click convert CSV to JSON, I'm going to say CSV to keyed JSON. This is important. I'm not making a CSV to JSON. I'm making a CSV to keyed JSON. Click this. And then at this point, you have the data that is available for you in the same format that you expected. Okay, so you have the way it looks. For example, I can I can even in, invert, convert it back and show you. Um, or I can probably show it on Google Sheet for you. Let me open a Google Sheet. I'm going to paste it. I'm going to paste everything that I copied here so that you have an understanding about how this data should look like. Okay, let me split this column. And then you can see this is how the data should ideally look like. So you have the year here. So that year has been formatted for some reason, but you have the year here and then you have all the individual titles and their different values for every year. So ideally this would be like somewhere around like 1976, 1977. So it, it would ideally be like this. So let me show you. Yeah, it would ideally be like this. And then you have like the last data here. So it was initially like this year, but we removed the title and this is how you want your data to be. You have all the different titles or the bars in the title columns. And the year, every row is more like your row name and every value inside this. So this is how ideally you want your data set to look like before you convert into a JSON. After you have or after you have transformed your data set into this format, particular format, then all you have to do is copy the CSV, go to CSV, convert CSV.com, paste your CSV or choose the file like upload your CSV or paste the CSV here. And after you do that, you're going to convert that into a JSON and then you're going to say CSV to keyed JSON. So now at this point, we are ready and good to go. So I'm going to copy this entire data from here and I'm going to go to my VS code. I'm going to go to my VS code and then instead of closing this file, I can open a new file. Let's say I'm going to, I can create a file called data2.json and then I can make the changes. But just because you know, you're looking at it, I'm going to just overwrite it. I'm going to delete everything, paste it here and then I'm going to save it. After I save it, I can go back to my server that's currently running. I can go to my server, which is, which is, where is it? Yeah. And I can click enter and you can see at this point, we have a different data altogether. We have China, United States, India, and then we are, you know, we are seeing population here and then it's increasing. But let's say like now I've not made aesthetic changes. I've not made changes to the title. I've not made changes to everything else. So I'm going to make changes to those. I'm going to go back here. Um, do, do, do I want to change where the, the logo is present? So if you want, you can keep it. If you don't want, like the simplest thing is you can go rename this and then now it would not ideally show up. Let's see. Okay. So if you do not have the logo in there, it's going to probably throw an error because we are still considering it. So I'm going to go to the config and then I'm going to say, I don't want the logo. And where are we seeing the logo? Let me quickly see. Let me quickly see. Find files. So yeah subscribe x what is the file name i got missed the file name what is the file name subscribe x okay subscribe x is the file name i'm going to look for subscribe x okay so it's this is where we are loading loading the the file if you want it you can keep it if you don't want it just just comment it save it come back here it is ready so now you don't have the logo there so again if you if you don't want to keep it you can do that but if you want to replace it with something else you can replace it you can so at this point in our code base we have the latest file logo dot logo dot png so you can see the latest file so let's go back to our data the where we are showing the map and then see so you have the logo here you have all these things here so let's let's quickly go ahead and then edit 
the title we have spent a lot of time in um, in changing that so this is countries by population so let, let's say top 20 countries by population world population okay and then i'm going to say source is world bank data okay so right now we have this save it and go back here and then rerun it again you can see top 20 countries by population you have the year you have the source you have created by you have the logo so all these things are set up but one thing i still feel is that you know the bar is slightly slower so let's say let's say that i want to make the bars very fast okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to go back to my config config.js i'm going to say change the speed from point zero 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 two to one okay and i'm going to say enter and then you can see i think this is 15 bars so let's let's show 20 bars here save 20 and then say you can see how it is changing it's quite fast like we sometimes you want it this fast sometimes you don't want it this this fast it depends upon what are going to do with the bar chart so if you're going to put it in a powerpoint presentation maybe you want it fast if you're going to put it as a youtube video maybe you don't want it this fast but again the the idea is that you have managed to change the speed so maybe you can go one level slow and then say okay this is slightly slower than what it was before and you can still see you can change the number of bars as well like top 20 so instead of that you can say top 10 and i can make the number of bars to show 10 and then you can see and let's say you don't want the watermark so you can come back here and then say false sorry false and then save it and then enter you don't see the watermark so at this point you have like complete bar chart trace created simply using a couple of clicks and a small step like 10 15 minutes we have managed to take and then we have changed the logo we have changed the title we have changed the data we have changed almost everything and then if you want to record it open your quick time player open your video recording software and then record this upload it on twitter upload it on linkedin upload it on youtube wherever you want to do instagram wherever you want to do you can do it and you can do it the same way india and pixels channel so india and pixels channel blew up just by posting bar chart race it takes a lot of effort and time and i'm really really thankful to the developer um ashris choudhury for making this amazing library making this amazing code base open source for us all of us to use and create our own bar chart race and once again finally i want to i want to quickly show you the bar chart race finally we have managed to make come back here so again like like if you enjoy this library if you enjoy this code base you can donate to the developer these these details are available on the github as well so i'm going to press enter and you can see the bar chart is changing so you have the logo brand logo you have the title you have the year changing you have the source you have who created it and you have everything in place now all you need to do is make sure the data that you get is in the right format and once you do that you have your bar chart race available in a very few clicks or um, typing um, characters so you have this entirely ready and up and running uh, given given to you by india and pixels make sure that you give uh, this repository a star give a shout out to the developer on twitter or linkedin wherever you are on social media once again thanks to india and pixels and if you enjoyed this video please let me know in the comment section otherwise i would love to see the bar chart races that you make and see you in the next video happy coding